You know, I want to welcome you to another edition of Unfiltered. I was just listening to the song by Taylor Swift and Bon Iver. And then I looked up the meaning. It's a love song. And it's a beautiful song. I mean, it's one of those songs you can listen to over and over and over again. But I began to seek its truer meaning. So I I looked it up online and it's about two people who tried in a relationship but ultimately failed. And they're talking about the time that they've wasted and so on and so forth. In my opinion, it is a song for the times, especially for the time that I'm in, uh, going through separation and divorce, and the pain that's caused by that action, which is tremendous. And what I'm going to say to you is this. If you're thinking of leaving your partner, separating, because you've got to separate first before you can divorce. At least here in Canada, you, that's the way it goes. But it's, it's, it's a song of tragedy, of love, and of letting go. And as I say, if you're, if you're contemplating leaving your partner, leaving your marriage, leaving your relationship, your long relationship, There's going to be two opposing sides as to why this is happening. And in my podcast, Divorcing Mrs. Claus on Spotify, you can can listen to one half of a two-sided story. And that's exactly what this song is saying, except... The other side exists and speaks too, which I love about the song. Exile in the Long Pond series. That's Taylor Swift and Bon Iver. Give it a listen. It's a great video to watch. And if you're going or anticipating going and splitting from your partner, listen to this song and do what's right for you. I won't tell you it's easy. It's anything but easy. For both of you, it's going to mean something in your minds. And you're going to get angry. You're going to feel cheated. You're going to feel emotions that you've probably never felt before over a prolonged period of time especially in the sense of a marriage. My marriage was 25 years. I will tell you that the pain, I can't explain it. It's it's such deep pain. And I can only imagine it is for both sides, both her and me. And it's kind of a goodbye song. We didn't work well together. We gave, I, you know, we gave each other chances. I won't go into who gave each other chances. It doesn't matter. But for the purpose of this video, but and then I'm sure that Mrs. Claus would say, "I, you didn't give me a warning sign." where I'm saying I gave a warning sign. I gave lots of warning signs of the imminent departure from our marriage over the years. When you study what the song means and what it's actually talking about, it really gives you, uh, uh, as you listen to it, a, a really different perspective. And what I love about this song is that they never sang it together. They each sang their own half in different studios than it was put together for the record or for the CD I should say record that dates me doesn't it but the meaning of the song as as Taylor Swift's usually is 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 a very very strong point 
and it's a reflection on, on your past and on how you handled things and what you did and didn't do. It, it's an all-encompassing song that I encourage you to listen to. That's Bon Iver and Taylor Swift in the Long Pond series. You can watch it on YouTube, watch the video. It's excellent, especially where it shows both of them singing in their respective studios. And then coming together and harmonizing is just beautiful. But it's such a sad song. And it's a song for me of reality. It's a song of reality. <clears throat> it's a song of giving signs of trouble in the relationship that were missed by the other person. Or them giving you warning signs that were missed by you. In any event, they split up. That's the, the nature of the song. They split up and each went their separate ways. Check it out on YouTube. Love it. Play it over and over again. It says everything that I would like to say in my situation to my former spouse of 25 years. None of this is enjoyable. And that's being honest. None of this is enjoyable. In fact, it's pure torture to your soul. And it's going to leave deep and heavy scars after it's all said and done that are going to take a long time to heal. But yet you have to heal. And you will heal. And it's going to seem like it's forever, but it's not you got to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and continue to walk your path. See you next time on Unbreakable. See you next time on Living Unfiltered with Shane. Be unstoppable. Live unfiltered and carry on. Have a great day.